Ooh, there's tension. You arguing with me? I am. We both have two good opinions. The table's good. It's a test in your marriage if you can survive giving directions to the hubby. Why do men get so cranky when they're asked to do something? <laughs> two different opinions. If you want to move the table over there, then the lights don't belong over here. Yeah. It is prom 2024, and we are hosting prom dinner here in our home. Aprons on, let's go. We're starting to clear out the dining room, great room area. Derek is starting to get things ready to hang the lights. If you could survive something like this, I think I'd make it. We're thinking of having the dining room table go horizontal this way. We're gonna play around, but I gotta get this. Where it is, that's where I like it. No, so I'm gonna get what? this cleared out. Shh, are you talking? We're arguing. Yes, I know. <laughs> you arguing with me? I am. The table's good. Why do men get so cranky when they're asked to do something? If you're gonna move the table over there, then the lights don't belong over here. How many times did I tell you yesterday that I would like to have the table go this way? This is not brand new information. But I don't think it's there. You don't know. Don't you way. don't know. Don't you? you don't. And I don't know until we look at it and move it and see. You're gonna have to do it because I'm leaving with Boston. So I will hang the lights later? No, we're hanging the lights now. Well, where's the table going? Derek and Boston ran out to get the corsage. And while they were out, I set up the table vertically to see how I would like it. And I noticed that when I was messing around with the chairs, it just made the space feel crowded. One head of the table was too into the kitchen, almost. And then the other head of the table bumped into the buffet cabinets. And it was like, okay, we can move those, but those are heavy. And then you have to take everything out. So when Derek got back, I showed him what I was talking about. And then we moved the table horizontally, like I wanted. <laughs> So I tried, I really tried to make keeping it vertically work for him, but mm, mm, it just didn't work. We're good though. Mr. Toodles and I are good. <laughs> so we had four strands of lights that were all connected together. We had hooks on each end of the room and we double hooked them and we created some space in between each hooks so it looked like two rows. Then we noticed there was excess cord. They were even, but they kind of just dangled down the wall. I'm like, ooh, even if you don't put light bulbs in them, it just looked tacky. So I ended up just wrapping the cord along itself, like going across, so that way it didn't dangle. But on the other side of the room, they had to dangle because the extension cord had to reach to plug them in. So we just moved the table we had there with the window picture frame and wreath to kind of cover it and block it so you didn't notice it, and it worked out fine. Once we finally figured out how we were doing the lights and positioning them under the table, it was time to put the light bulbs in. We are leaving the hooks for these lights in the wall. If they get in the way with pictures once we decorate, then we'll rearrange it, but we're leaving them there because this is fun and when we have gatherings and dinner parties and we know it works this way with the table and chairs that we could just string up the lights on those hooks and we don't have to keep putting them in the walls. So we're using an A carton to store the light bulbs in and we'll figure out later how to store all this, but that works for right now. So we're gonna get things washed up, shiny, uh, to be able to start setting the table. So I have two 12-piece porcelain dinnerware sets, and we're gonna use the goblets from our wedding. I only have eight of those, so I have two of these big wine glasses that will get clean. So we'll put the, these two at like the head of the table, maybe. We'll just do a nice sanitizing, cleansing cycle. Now that that is going, I am working on one of the desserts and it's that lemon pocket cake that I made for Easter. Boston loved it and he wants to serve it up tonight for prom dinner. For this recipe, it's super easy. I'll have a link for you down below. It's a white cake mix, water, egg whites, oil, and then lemon pie filling. Do you have prom in April or May? It is gorgeous out and it has been ugly weather here and today has been beautiful so I am so happy these kids are gonna have a good prom. Okay, this is going in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until golden brown. Okay, I'm washing some strawberries. There's some vinegar and water that they're just soaking in and then I'll rinse them off and dry them.
so I had this picture up on our windowsill and it just fell. Yeah, no, duh. This tablecloth is a cream. We put it over the sage, but this is a sparkly gold on it. So I have brown chargers or we have gold. I had enough of the brown chargers to set the whole table with, but I thought I would do a little contrast with the gold, especially since the tablecloth has all those gold speckles in it. I thought I would mix things up. I'm in my buffet table grabbing napkins. Dishwasher is done. Ooh, the sparkling. I put the rinse aid in to help them shine even more. And then I'll take, I'll go get my window, Norwex window cloth, and I will wipe around the edges with these as well. Get them all shiny. I gotta go find where we put our candles. I have a whole big box of battery candles put on the table and around. I don't know if we put them in the crawl space or if they're in the storage room still unpacking you guys oh if I can't find them then Derek will run to his mom's because she has a box that's accessible in her storage room so there's eight of these with the silver around and then we're gonna just use two of our white plates um, eight nine ten yeah two of the other plates that we'll put at the head of the table let's go over to the table Now, could you imagine it's your senior year of high school and you find out that Kevin Bacon is coming to your prom? Kevin Bacon? Poof. This is what is happening to the town we used to live in where we originally started Cheese in Our Apron. A lot of scenes of Footloose were filmed in Payson, like the high school behind the bleachers, um, Kevin Bacon's locker, which is still dedicated to Kevin Bacon. They have decorated it. So what is happening this year, it's the 40th anniversary of Footloose, but it's also the last year of Payson High School. They're tearing down the original building and building just further west of it, just like on the same property. They were like, Kevin Bacon's gonna come to prom. How perfect, 40th anniversary, have him come. So they have tried to get Kevin Bacon's attention for, gosh, they've been working on this for two years, I wanna say, but they got his attention. Kevin Bacon sent the school a message at the beginning of the school year, but it was still not like, is he coming to prom? Well, the Today Show showed up at their school at like four in the morning. All the kids were there for this big announcement. Kevin Bacon was on live saying, you know, I've, I've noticed what you've been doing. I've been noticing, you know, the donation you made to my charity. Like all the work the kids got, did to get Kevin Bacon's attention worked. Thank you, thank you, and I'm gonna come, I gotta come. Holy crap, I bet everybody wants to get invited to Payson's prom. But how cool would it be to be at prom and have Kevin Bacon say, Let's dance! Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. That'd be cool. All the glasses are shined up, so now let's get those in their place. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is why aprons are awesome. You can fit so much stuff in them. I found all my candles and my candle stands. I gotta fill these up with batteries though. So I'm working right now with the candle situation. I just washed all the new soup spoons, so now I'm just drying them off and getting them down too. Definitely want each of them to have a rose. They just dropped off food. One of the boys' moms made a soup. It's like a um, like a wedding soup, meatball wedding soup. And then one of the boys' dads made like a venison stroganoff. There were still talks of like someone else was gonna bring a main dish. So we have in our freezer, just in case, from Costco, chicken corn and blue with blended cheeses and ham. So we have that just in case. There's the poke cake. I just gotta add the frosting. All the boys were in charge of the food. One of the boys was in charge of salads. Well, Brogan's dad is bringing over the stew and he's supposed to bring sparkling cider, but Derek's getting a backup of sparkling cider just in case. So I'm gonna throw this together for them, put the topping on the cake and uh, get the desserts ready and the charcuterie board. It's all coming together. It is 428. They should be here either 6 or 6.30. So I gotta have everything ready for 6. Fun. Alright, so I'm gonna take my 8 ounce Cool Whip and mix in the lemon frosting. I had this set out by my window. We have so much sunlight that comes through that it warmed it up so it's easy to work with with the Cool Whip. Yeah. This made a lot of frosting, but that's okay. I could save it and use it for something else. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge so that the icing could set. All right, this is going in the fridge. It's gonna be so good. Boston is so excited to have it. Mm -mm. So I'm starting on the charcuterie board. I ended up freezing all these wedges from the big block that I got from Sam's Club. So now I just need to grab one out and I'm gonna get it on the tray and just let it sit. It'll come to room temperature, it'll soften. It'll be fantastic. So there you go, freeze your brie. I am putting together this three tier porcelain serving set. I think I got this as a Christmas gift. I haven't used it yet, I've had it for a couple of years, so I'm gonna put it together and this is how we're gonna serve up, I think, the desserts.
Well, that was fun. I'm really proud of some of the girls. They went straight for dessert first. That's my kind of girl. Yep. Who didn't use their dessert fork? Ah, I had like Frank Sinatra type like music for them, like coming in, just easing them in. And then I put on Taylor Swift and the girls went crazy. Play Taylor Swift's when it was out. Okay. I love Taylor Swift so much. Yeah. <laughs> I played waitress, I served them, refilled their drinks. We went through all six bottles of sparkling cider. I'm definitely gonna have a cream puff. Their dresses were beautiful. We definitely did prom different growing up. The guys were like in tuxedos. And then the limo would come. Where's Boston's water? From what I remember, the limo would come and get one person and then pick us all up. And as they picked us up, we took pictures. I think that's what we did. And then prom, was usually like at a hotel in their ballroom. So that was like how a lot of the weddings were back east. So you get there, take your formal picture, you eat, and then you go dance. It's so different now. They do day dates here. These kids did an escape room around 11.30. And then they go back and get ready. We never had time to do anything like that. Us girls were getting our last tanning session in before prom. And then we had our hair salon appointment. Shaylee, what time is it? 8.23. Yeah, and they left like five-ish minutes ago. And now they're heading to the dance. It's so different. Mmm, these are good. Derek left right before they got here. There's some big fight on the TV tonight. So he's with the guys doing that. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and chow down and then finish cleaning. Already started loading the dishwasher. There's still a Hawaiian roll. Yum. If Boston wants to do this again next year, I'll do it. This was cute. And the lights are adorable. Can I have baby food? No, you can't eat that. No. Mm -mm. No, you can't eat that. No, you can't eat that. No. Mm. I love you. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, get it Oh my gosh. All right, time to get moving.
It's almost 10 o'clock. Food is put away. Dishwasher's loaded. All the extra dishes are done. Table's put back, but Derek in Boston are gonna have to take the leaf out. It's a very heavy table. If you have a senior this year and you're throwing a graduation party, I have two videos, tips, tricks, ideas, all of that for you if you're hosting. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye. You gotta go. I'm gonna roll you up in it. I'm gonna roll you up in it.